Welcome to Megalogamia. I'm Tom. I'm Danny. And I'm Cheese Man. And we are here in the middle of Superhero Week, and we are going to play us some Teen Titans. Yeah, uh, we chose this because the show's been around for a while. Um, it's just one of those shows that came out of kind of nowhere and it had this real pop intro, Japanese. And it it kind of people didn't know what to think of it at first because it's different and it was just kind of like eh at first and then people got into it some people hated it we're gonna need some marvel stuff on here I think, cause we have a lot maybe we'll get a good spider-man game we will something because we have a lot of dc so far this week but there's a lot of superhero games too superheroes have been popular for a while now yeah definitely there's a lot of good ones there's a lot of stinkers oh, oh yeah <laughs> bet your ass so here's that nice intro here we go Wait. No, it's not the full no words. No, yeah. it could probably couldn't get licensing for the song. Yeah, but, do you uh, think this is multiplayer? Definitely. But uh, the show, the show was uh, could kind of walk the line of uh, was it supposed to be like this quirky Japanese thing going on, or was it supposed to be like a more serious, you know, the Adventures of was Batman it? deal, or beyond, yeah. you know, beyond Batman? And I think they should have actually went with more serious. I think. Because the episodes did deal with serious stuff sometimes, but sometimes the episodes were just kind of like, just some so, no, just some they gotta go beat up some guy, they beat him up. It was just like the show paste junk, and then but the episodes that were not that were really good and actually continued a full storyline. So the show the pro show had the problem that all children's shows have. Because in, in all actuality, this is a children's show. Yeah. Do you know why children's cartoons exist? Why? To sell toys. That's true. That is their only purpose is to sell toys. Because they don't actually make that much money because it's hard to advertise to children. Yeah. Children aren't consumers that spend money. True. Their parents do. So if a child likes something enough, the parents will hopefully buy toys for that. Uh, so Teen we're talking Titans, about like parents who had money. Yes. Teen Titans so I've never had this was problem. not making enough money <laughs> off of the toys. Oh, press start button. Thank you, Cheese. Really? Um, so they, they redid it in the super chibi Teen Titans Go. Oh. I... Which sucks. Despise that show. So there's a fun episode of that I'm show. I'm not a fan of that show either. There's a really good episode of that show that ah. explains that the people who made it aren't a fan of it either. Really? There is a show that breaks the fucking fourth wall. So they're fighting a, a villain. I gotta see this. That is, it's really good. We'll watch it on YouTube after this, the clip of it. They're fighting a villain who controls TV and wants them to make a TV show. I've seen that villain before, yeah. And they... He shows them, why aren't you being like these guys? And plays a clip of old Teen Titans <laughs> on the fucking TV. That's great. And they're like, they're, they're so well drawn. Like, just yeah. everything. Like, they comment about everything. And they're like, maybe we should have listened. Maybe we made a mistake. Like, it's, oh, it's the most fourth wall breaking moment yeah. of all time. Uh, so, yeah. I guess I'm I honestly, I will say something, though. They could still come out with this to this day, I think, and make it good and serious and keep the characters, keep the voice actors. Just say, we fucked up. We're going to give you what you want. And it would be perfectly fine. Because, really, when you look back at the adventures of Batman and Batman but Beyond, you, like, you're, forget, good. you're forgetting they're the world. Good. Doesn't, make, doesn't make the money off of toys. Go out, if they do it, buy two toys per character. I would buy some toys. I would go out and buy some Adventures of Bat and Robin toys right now if they came out with more episodes. Yeah, I would not... literally buy them and feed them to my dog, but yeah. I would buy them. That's the problem, though. They're, they don't care about you who would buy the toys. They only care about... Maybe they should uh, advertise to my dog. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the problem is Wait, the toy is... market, too, is go it's going through a tutorial right now. I'm just pressing Oh, uh, okay. There's no two-player tutorial. I don't get to learn I, anything. I don't think so. It's... Tell me what you know uh, now. Square <laughs> is punchy punch. L is uh, pick up kick. shit. Uh, ooh. Uh, yeah. And then uh, Circle is Special Attack. Okay, so this is going to be one of those games. I hope this isn't bad. This is definitely... This, please no Sinzu. It's feeling like it, but it's much more responsive and there's I'm no going to name every really bland beat -em up a Sinzu. You can pick him up. Oh, <laughs> I did it. He's like, he's like, I'm trying to get up, but I slipped. I just hit the screen and like... So they frames. did They did do that, Danny, though, with the, what you were saying. Uh, okay. Oh, you can charge. You can charge them by holding them down. Wow, look at the weird faces. Ooh, ooh. The rumble pack, man. Is that an option you can turn off? I don't know. It's loud though. Uh, but they did. So they recently released a. You know how they make the DC Unlimited Universe or animated universe movies? Yeah. Um, they released one in the Teen Titans universe. Really? It's pretty good. They also oh, remember they had that. that. 
Yeah, that's the one. Don't they have to like? Who do they have to fight? I don't. I don't I remember. Feel like I they actually had to fight some of the Justice League. I haven't. Yeah, they do. I haven't seen it yet though. Uh, they also had the show for a long time, which got canceled too, which sucks. Young Justice, which was like the the new version of Teen Titans that was much darker, much really? much more adult. See, that's yeah. what I would have liked to see. Yeah. They had like a season of that show, which was really good, and then it got canceled because it doesn't sell toys. You wanna so. I don't know if I won or if I lost or what happened there. One of my least favorite changes about Teen Titans Go is Raven was in this show. Raven was like this kind of dark, like struggling with her power kind of person. She becomes a just just out of nowhere, like My Little Pony lover. Yeah. Yeah. Ha! Hold on, that's kind of funny. <laughs> but like, but it's like a uni it's like unicorn. It was it's something different. <laughs> I, I, that's a little funny. I actually, I, I know people in real life like that. Yeah, but like dark gothic and they're they're bronies. Like, <laughs> like you know what I mean? Yeah, but it's like they do it obnoxiously. Okay, that's yeah. What? That's amazing. Oh, we were playing the video game. Oh, so. That's the only nice thing about Teen Titans is they were always willing to go one step further in meta. We? You mean you? Somebody has made a video game star. What the her her eyes are holy shit terrifying. Mm. If you Why made them like the game? three pixels smaller. Okay, okay, I hold on, on. Beast Boy? It looks like Beast Boy. Uh Raven, okay. Not so good. there's a little weird color. What is with Starfire's yeah, face? Wow. So there's a lot of things that are. So if you're a comic book fan, you know that this is not the real. Starfire. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So the real Starfire is like a warrior princess from an alien world who wants to be naked all the time. That's literally all she wants. Like she thinks clothes are the weirdest thing ever. And you're just like, I understand. You're just a character made to be a sex object. I get it. Uh, you're also incredibly hard. Oh, you're here. Yeah. How do you switch between them? You're, the button you're pressing is just swapping. Danny, what button were you pressing? Oh god, it knocked. I, I left. I don't even know where I am. There we go. How did you swap characters? Oh, you pressed start. Start, okay. Oh, of course start doesn't start. How do I Oh, there we go. There I am, okay. Cyborg. So Cyborg. Where is Switch? No. No, it's uh, it's the air, it's the D-pad. Oh, we're all here. Yeah, D-pad is switch characters. You have to use the stick, Danny. Oh, okay. Get off the D-pad. Okay. There you go. I want to fly. That's why. Fly and We've got to save the city. Starfire probably flies. She's flying right now, actually. Um. But uh, yeah. Team Titans are like nothing like they are in the. And Young Justice was much closer to, to like the car, the comic book Titans than the Teen Titans ever were. Who's your uh, who's your favorite Titan? Ooh, I mean, I'm a Superman fan, so Connor, uh, which is Superboy, is pretty good. Okay, um, in, in this show, was he in that show? He was in Young in Justice. Teen, in Teen Titans. No, in the Teen Titans. <laughs> okay, yeah, I already like flying. Look at this. Probably. Ooh, I'm like a squid. In the, if, in the show version, probably Raven. You better go get yeah, the power pellet, or I'm gonna like, eat you. She just has the cool Raven story and Starfire. Were yeah. Weird. They were much cooler than me. Like, Honestly, here's the weird thing, though. I kind of liked the uh, the bad Teen. What were they? The bad Teen Titans. There's like the B. Yeah, and, and the Jinx—they were all really weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, wanted, I wanted one that had like. Up on the roof. So what's really the weird is Cyborg no. is actually a Justice League member. Oh, okay, okay. He's not a Teen Titan at all. He's like a grown ass man. Yeah. Uh, and in like well, when you're in the Cyborg, of, what age are you? Like, well, so that's the thing is like he, his dad like turned him into a Cyborg because his dad almost killed him. That's like his backstory. Whoops. Oh uh, yeah. His dad was like a scientist who didn't care about his son, and he was a football player. Well, I bet you can truck some people now. Yeah. You know, I bet there's a lot of people whose dads didn't care about it and they didn't get to be a cyborg. So they're losing out, really. true. Oh, I can fire. Oh, okay. This character just got tagged. Oh, give me some cheese. What is it? Yeah. It's cheese. It's cheese. Get the cheese. Can we put the, the multi tap in to play with four people? You think it would let us? Probably not. Buried in a box somewhere. There's a pile of crap. <laughs> God knows if it works. I like how everything we have is buried in a box yeah. in a pile of crap. Like, man, that's just like part of, of our show now is we find shit and that's in, what in we our do. boxes in the shop. Literally, we just dig and that's what comes up. There I are something? too many cutscenes in this game. 
That's <laughs> like those enemies right there. They're pretty interesting looking. I mean, yeah, they're impractical. That's like their definition. So, what were your favorite Cartoon Network shows? Not letting up. Oh, like growing up. Man. Well, all the classic is like. Yeah, but I guess from like this age, from like the the Teen Titans era. Uh, uh, well, I used to watch like Coward the Coward the Dog, Courage, and Coward Cow the and Chicken, like all that stuff. Samurai Jack. You know, that was kind of the insane. They're making a new yeah. season of Samurai Jack. I'm I'm excited about that. For yeah. Sure. Um, I what really liked. So I came late to the party because I didn't have cable as a kid. Uh, I had it as an adult. I enjoyed uh, Ben 10 and all of its many iterations. I haven't seen a lot of Ben 10. I always thought Ben 10 was interesting. I just didn't get to look, watch a lot of it. So it's so it's weird because there's essentially three different. Wow. Did they just? I, we missed a joke there. He said it's a game. Yeah. Uh, it's the Teen Titans were always willing to go full meta. I wonder if to go in these doors. Oh, bread button, button maybe. Pull the lever, Kron. Uh, uh, no, I got all those no, red buttons all the way around. Maybe you can't push the button because you're flying. Maybe you have to go through the door at the end. Interesting note: the Xbox version of this game is somewhat rare for some reason. So oh, there we go. The door. If you want to play this game? Try to avoid. Buying a rare version. Yeah. I don't know why. Unless you want to spend money. Yeah, it's just randomly worth more. Um, that may not be true years from now, but as a, if this video ran, it's worth more. Yeah. So uh, Ben 10 was a weird. So the premise of Ben 10 is there is this kid, and he finds this essentially bracelet thing. Watch. Watch, which allows him to transform into different aliens. But he doesn't quite have it fully unlocked and fully controlled. And then oh, fuck you, cyborg. I guess you're staying behind. <laughs> Um, Cyborg just doesn't know how doors work. And the whole show is right, him right, slowly yeah. learning. And, like, it starts out like they spend a summer with their grandpa, like Ben and his sister. And then the show slowly evolves into, like, this great show. It turns out the grandpa is actually part of, like, this secret society of people who protect the planet from aliens. And, like, that, the, the watch was meant for the grandfather, and that's why it doesn't work properly for Ben. Okay. Uh, and, like, eventually gets it unlocked. And then, but it suffers from this problem. So, eventually, like, Ben has to grow up. Yeah. So he turns into, like, they, they transition the show into him as a teenager and then him as, like, an, a late teen, like a high schooler, right? Okay. And the watch gets unlocked to have these new forms, and he kind of understands it, but it has this power creep issue where you can only save the universe so many times, right? Like, you can only save the Earth from destruction so many times before yeah. people realize that you're saving the Earth from destruction. What did I just do? Uh, activated crazy raven mode, I guess. I just attack. I, I, I just uh, busted out my black lotus turn one. Okay, so the superpowers. I just don't know how to. Use you them. well, yes, we are superheroes. <laughs> uh, True. But um, yeah, no, it's so like they de they even address it an issue. Like we've just saved the the galaxy for the fourth time. What are we supposed to do now? Because like eventually, like they get a spaceship and they just fly around the galaxy as high schoolers, saving the the world, and it, or saving the galaxy, and it's just like. Okay, what do we do? And then, like, Cartoon Network axes the show, and that's, <laughs> that's it. That's how it works. Cartoon Network has this, like, I have this love-hate relationship with Cartoon Network because they axe a lot of really good shows. Well, I think it's, like, it's like they run out of ideas to, and it's, to do with the it's, show. And it's the toy problem. So, uh... It stops selling Disclaimer, toys. I used to work for a major toy company. Uh, probably one of the biggest and most well-known toy companies in the world. Um, and... There was an issue where eventually they had to do some, you know, they had to do some downsizing, um, and not, you know, I, I left the company because I was only a part timer. Um, but they, uh, they, they had to do some, some layoffs and some furloughs and some downsizing because the, actually, I think I only did furloughs. Furloughs. I don't think they actually ever laid anyone off, which is kind of nice. You know, keep your good employees around. They were really my favorite job to work for. Um, but they. Psycho They, uh. That's because the toy market is just kind of. How are you activating? I don't know, but I'm just gonna this. I want to activate crazy superpowers. Um. Oh, Raven seems broken, because look, I have this psionic move for like, free range. I have this zap your dumb ass move from Hell Far Away. And then I've got, like, like really fast, poppy kicks. Like, I just, 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 just unload on people. But, um. The, uh. The toy market is dead. I don't know if you guys know this. 
Video games have killed most toys. Yes. Really? How many kids yes, do you see playing with toys versus that, iPads and stuff like that? That's true, but I like video games, so I think I've won this war. Yeah, <laughs> but you know. It's, but there are a lot of good toys. I mean, there are a lot of good toys. I do miss old toys. I just, I'm now old, so they don't mean as much. I mean, I don't know if I want to say what company I used to work for, but everyone instantly recognized it. Um. You know, you, know, you know KFC is not a toy company? It is not. It is, uh, <laughs> it is a kidding. chicken company. That's the last um, of Unless you play with the chicken. No, it's... Uh, I, I guess I'll say it. I used to work for Lego. Oh, so I had okay. a job for Lego for a while. I have, you know what's weird? I went to Legoland, and it was really awesome once. Legoland is not owned by Lego. Really? It's owned you know by a South Korean company. You know what's weird, though? I went into the outside area that sells Legos, and I thought it'd be really expensive to park stuff, and it was the cheapest Legos I'd ever purchased in my life. I love... I like, full, the massive sets. Like... 20 bucks. I was, I was the, just like, what? Was this would the, never be that much at like a Kmart or a Walmart. I was or... at the local mall and like there were sets that were like $100. If you ever yeah. get to go to the Mall of America, it's absolutely stellar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Lego Lego is <laughs> fun. I used Where's to, that? I used to go to the Lego it's store in, to buy Lego uh, pieces for Minnesota? missing board games. They have a three-story Lego store. Did you know they're, what is it? They're, Disney is building a new Disneyland in Shanghai. Yeah, because China's the a big biggest market. Biggest Disneyland, 5.5 billion. Gonna have the biggest castle they have that features all the Disney princesses. Going all have... the princesses. Uh -oh. Jinx, what's she doing? What about the princesses? The biggest what if I want Lego store class. in the world. What if I want androgynous princess? This is Wait, royalty people. Is... That's Jinx, yeah. But see, yeah, I always found the evil ones more interesting for some reason. Because they... heroes are generally very boring. Yeah. Because, hey, we're I, like, when I first saw the lady look like a bee, I'm like, what is her power? Is she shit bees? So, like, <laughs> like DC is about heroes trying to be normal people, and Marvel is about normal people trying to be heroes. Like, that's the idea, the general synopsis of them. But it turns out, he like, heroes are fairly one-dimensional and pretty boring. Like, just being a normal, a normal hero is really... You know, trying to be a normal person is hard enough. It is very difficult, and so, like, it's the whole, I mean, you know, like... That's why we're here. I don't know if you ever heard the argument that Superman is Clark Kent's real identity and Clark Kent is just a mask. Have you ever heard <laughs> that? Where I have. Could... I think I've meant that. something to that degree, but maybe not physical authorities. But it's, uh, the idea is that, you know, in, in the DC Universe, most of the people who are heroes are actually, like, with the exception of maybe Batman, but you can even argue exactly. Batman is... Choice. You know Bruce Wayne's real, real identity. Bruce Wayne is just a cover. Oh, I can transform. Whereas if you look at like Marvel, let's take like Spider-Man for instance. Yeah. Spider-Man, Peter Parker is just trying to do the right thing. Yeah. And still like pass his college classes or get to work on time. Mm -hmm. Like how often does Clark Kent miss work? Yeah, that's true. I don't know. <laughs> never. Like none of them ever miss work. They never get punished for it. And that that almost makes them more boring if that makes sense like it's weird because there's no consequences to their there's super to, to them being super well remember the incredibles yeah. there were tons of consequences for being superheroes and that was the best they need a sequel they're they are they're making a sequel, making a sequel. yeah did they did they really screw themselves with like rise of the underminer and like shit now we have to make it about that and we've already made the game i don't know i i, I, I no actually about i was not. so ready for like the sequel for that yeah. like Right? Like, like, but I feel like that they would have just easily like destroyed him. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's uh, I mean, it's honestly, I, I, I would I like never... to play a game as whatever the Underminer is, the creepy mole guy who goes down. No, the creepy mole guy who lives underground. He like does weird stuff. He like no, all he does. He watches he's... like wrestling and gets no. really high all day. No, no, no all he does. <laughs> he's just is really he, strange. Is he undermines people? <laughs> he just goes to their job, like, like this strange, like he's, short guy will show up at your troll, job, literally. show up at your job as a temp, yeah. and he'll just like screw you over by undermining <laughs> you. Uh, Let me collect all these. Like very, like he appeared things. with that drill, but then he just went to a job company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like he did a really bad, didn't actually have a to do really anything. bad oil job. He's like, I am the underminer, and they're like, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> Great yeah. party. But that's why I think the people generally are more attracted to the villains because they're interesting. Like yeah. the Joker is an incredibly interesting character. Yeah. 
why can't you right, take out the enemies probably down here you're gonna die so this game so far uh, it's kind of just a button masher. Yeah, it, it definitely is a button masher. It's just mash buttons and mash buttons. A good game to talk while playing, though. It's, you know, it's not... Okay. I can close my eyes. It, it may be a brainless button masher, but it looks good. I'll give it that. It, it has the voices. It has comedy. You know, good writing. It, has some, it did appear to have a little bit of good writing. It's just the combat. They they need to... This formula needs to just be evolved at this point. If, like, this could be great if it just had more to the yeah, like even so. And more to just the maybe, just the everything. Maybe well, I'll, I have a Marvel Ultimate Alliance two at my house for PS three. Might be a little new for the channel, but I'll, I might bring it in. We should, you know, we should bring out Captain America on this. Season. We should because like that's an old beat 'em up that probably still holds up. Well, I, Ultimate Alliance is this level of gameplay. It's four players. We can actually have you know more than just two of us play. Yeah. And more importantly, oh, there's my Titanic attack. You know what happened? Well, you, you picked up a power up that you did. That's I'm what hoping. See, I picked Beast Boy because I'm hoping his power is to turn into like a rhino and just run into a Yeah, you'll have to pick up the it's the T logos on the. He's just running around with people in KO. Yeah, the <laughs> but stack. Marvel Ultimate Alliance Two is a similar gameplay style to this, but all of the characters have interactions with each other. Did you play the original Marvel? Uh, I feel like I have. It's probably got the same gameplay, if I had to guess. Um, but, like, you know, let's say you and I want to do a super, we would do a super together as a team. Versus. Gotcha. You know what we have to do? We have to be the experts. Yeah. There's a lot of good superheroes. Da -da 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 -da. We, might do, we might do another week of superheroes, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Whatever we can find in that. <laughs> what if we pull three games in a Right. Well, no, not really. Oh, we did it. Yeah, this game's pretty, pretty, pretty just, mindless. Pretty beat mindless beat 'em up. I mean, I want to like it. I, I mean, I like it. So I, I will knock it. It is not a bad game. It's not the worst. I would not mind this game. game. If you want to give this to very young children who might like Teen Titans, I'd say it's not bad. I feel like that's probably who was targeted. But, you, but you know, but if you want to give them something that's good, you might want. You know, you generally else. don't you hand uh, yeah. seven-year-olds Witcher three. You know, that might be a little too adult for them, a little too complex. It just gives little, them injustice. Little, little strange, you know, stronger narrative. Uh, but this game, you know, I could, I could play this game for hours. You know, like it doesn't, it doesn't require much skill or finesse or. A charge attack. Oh, okay. Wait, wouldn't you want to give like seven year olds like <laughs> No, pro I would have to say probably not. Wait, so wait, what? sorry. Sorry. Uh, I forgot what that game Manhunt, that's what I meant. There you go, yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. that's the seven year old game. Anyways, I think. I mean, seven year olds are playing. Uh, what's it called? I like how I turned your monkey right there. Mortal Kombat. The new Mortal Kombat. I know seven-year-olds that are playing that game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, I knew. Sorry, kidding. Seven-year-olds. I go over to people's houses and they'd be playing Grand Theft Auto. I'm like, you're a twelve-year-old. Yeah, that's his favorite game. Beat 'em up. Just like, okay. All right, I'm. You know, it's good. He's practicing for later. In life. Now, now you wonder why uh, your kid gets in trouble for. Well, I don't know. I shouldn't say that because you know there really isn't a good correlation between. Like, I would never. I would never say. Don't let your kid play or watch or read X. That's a that's a that's bad parenting. To, to blanket statements stuff like that. But if you're gonna like let your play, kid play a game like GTA A, they need to be mature enough. Yeah. You know, but there's there are, a reason it's rated M. There, but there and there's kids who can handle that kind of subject yeah. matter. Though. Um, but B, you know, are you playing it with them? Or are you just, are you using it literally to do the parenting? Sit your kid down 12, son. It's really not okay. Like kill, there's a difference. Kill and steal the money from hookers. There's a difference between consuming media which is what like we do as adults playing games and parenting with a video game yeah like are you using your video game to parent your children because if so <laughs> what's your parents right now just went <laughs> whoa if so you're probably you know you probably need to work on some kids you I know wanna, maybe i want to shoot far away but i, I can't switch the rate uh, you know, if, if you're using video games to parent your children, maybe you need to to reevaluate your parenting technique. Um, if you're if you're consuming media like books or video games or movies with kids, and there are definitely things that aren't like I would say probably Grand Theft Auto is a little too heavy in subject matter for most children. But you know, maybe maybe 15 or 16. That game if is they're mature. That game is ridiculous. Yeah. GTA, especially in the GTA 5. Oh yeah, oh, no. Gosh. 
You're dr like I'm driving along, and this guy, <laughs> what was it? This guy on the radio was like, "Hey, I'm running for governor, but I hate everyone. I hate." He goes through and he says all about, talks about all the races he hates. He talks about how he loves to do drugs. But I'm honest. If I'm gonna screw you over, I'll tell you beforehand. Um, I Hope just for me. one of my favorite missions in GTA V is a pretty early Michael mission. Where you, like, are walking down the street and you meet a guy who's, like, a protester. And he's trying to, like, legalize weed. And he, you take a hit of his weed and, like, you just flip out and start seeing aliens everywhere. <laughs> Isn't it cop? Like, you're shooting cops. Yeah, you're shooting cops and you think they're aliens. You know, like, so it's a... So wait, can I not... Or I can't hurt you? I don't know. Nope, there goes girl. Yeah. I well, think you can only damage her sometimes. But we knocked her over the fence, so there she goes. Mm -hmm. She's like, fight my dead green alien. Thing. Well, they remind me of Beatles. They from... do look like that. Oh. They look like Beatles. Uh, so, have you ever read any of Blue Beatles stuff for DC? They look like the Beatles suits. Because there's different Beatles suits. They're different colored Beatles suits. Um, for different types of Beatles. I think I saw a clip from. Enemy is literally look. I have an infinite. Look at my infinite. And Blue Beetles, isn't it? Yeah, it might have been Young Justice too, because Young Justice has an entire story arc involving Blue Beetle. Yeah, it was. It was. This guy's not dead. I just blue Beetle. It, was, it was something versus. I knew it was. It was that movie. It was. All right. So you you think we're about time to wrap it That's up? That's a lot of butt mashing. My, my thumbs hurt. That was a good podcast in a. I don't know, man. My thumbs are my thumbs <laughs> are cast. my thumbs are good. Yeah. My thumbs are good. Game cast. I could do this all day. <laughs> all right. Well, this has been uh, Teen Titans on the PS2. I don't even think it has a subtitle. But it's available on the, I believe, the GameCube and the Xbox. Uh, so I personally fun, liked it. Fun it's button good. masher. Well, the, <laughs> I'm, no, I, I meant watching it. I yeah, no, it, it seems uh, not to be the most. You missed some really corny jokes. Yeah, guys. I know. It's a, it's, a, it's a brainless butt masher, but it's probably not the worst. It's absolutely it not, not the worst. It's not a sin zoo completely. No, but it's, uh, it's I, I'd say it's right there in the middle. It's good, but it, it doesn't really have any depth. But, I mean, it's a kid's game, so probably yeah. doesn't need any depth. There you go. Anyways, Cheers. we'll see you next time. I'm Tom. I'm Danny. I'm Cheese. See ya. See ya. If you like that video, go ahead, give it a like, and click subscribe. And if you want to see more videos like that, click Lieutenant Surge. Got an opinion about the video, go ahead and leave a comment.